Good morning, everybody. I hope that you are all safe and warm and enjoying the snow that we just had fall overnight. Don't worry. I'm not offended if you are watching this video a little bit later than you usually watch our Sunday school videos, especially if you took the time to go outside and play in the snow. Trust me, I would have done exactly the same thing. This morning, we are continuing to look at who God is. And today, we are going to learn that God is faithful. How many of you have ever seen or met a baby? Right? All of you probably have your hand raised. It's a silly question. All of you have probably met a baby before. Most of you probably have met a baby when somebody in your family had a new baby that was born, right? It could have been a brother or sister in your personal family, or maybe a cousin, um, or maybe even a close personal, a close family friend of your family had a baby, and you were able to, to meet them. Maybe you're big enough that you've been able to, to hold a baby. Now, the reason why I ask that question is because today's Bible story involves a baby that is a sign of God's faithfulness. Faithfulness. That's the word that we are going to look at today. So I want you to take the next minute to talk with somebody in your family about what that word faithfulness means to you. So if you could define faithfulness, how would you describe it? One minute, go. Faithfulness means doing what you say you are going to do and being who you say you are going to be. Did you know that the Bible shows us God's faithfulness? This book is full of promises that God keeps and true words from him to us. It's a special book that he gives us so that we can know him and trust in his faithfulness. Our Bible story today is about Abraham. And you see, God was faithful to Abraham because Abraham wanted something really badly. Let's start off today's um, Bible story by playing a game of charades. I want you to take one minute and act out something that you really, really want. Act out something to somebody in your family that you really want, and remember the rules of charades. You have to use actions, and you cannot use words. Ready? Go.
great acting. I hope that the person you were playing with were able to guess what you really wanted. And hopefully you had enough time that maybe that other person was able to act something out and that you were able to, to guess for them, for that you were able to guess um, their actions. Now, can you guess what Abraham really wanted in our story? Let me show you by using my actions and no words. Were you able to guess what Abraham really wanted? That's right. If you guessed a baby, you are right. Abraham really wanted a baby. Now, for this Bible story, I want you to get a, a pen or a marker and a blank piece of paper. So I want you to hit pause on this video. Go get those two things. And when you're back, Press play. Listen to what the Bible has to say. From Genesis 15. But Abram said, Lord God, what can you give me since I am childless and the heir of my house is Eleazar of Damascus? Abram continued, Look, you have given me no offspring, so a slave born in my house will be my heir. What does that word heir mean? An heir is someone who inherits the things that you have when you die. Abraham wanted a baby to be his heir. But Abraham had no kids. Remember, our lesson is all about how God is faithful. Abraham didn't have what he wanted. But God made him a promise. I'm going to read two more verses for you. Verses 4 and 6. Now the word of the Lord came to him. This one will not be your heir. Instead, one who comes from your own body will be your heir. He took him outside and said, Look at the sky and count the stars, if you are able to count them. Then he said to him, Your offspring will be that numerous. Abraham believed the Lord, and he, and he credited it to him as righteousness. God promised to take Abraham's empty dreams and fill his life with as many descendants as there are in stars in the sky. Descendants means kids, grandkids, great-grandkids, great-great-grandkids, and so on. Now, I want you to take your piece of paper and your pen, and I want you to fill that paper up with as many stars as you can. Ready? Go. Just put stars all over that piece of paper. If you are younger and stars are too difficult for you, to draw, you can just put dots. That works too. Let's see your sheet of paper. Should look like this. Now God didn't fulfill his promise right away. 
Several years later, the time was right and God kept his promise to Abraham and to his wife, Sarah. God is faithful. He always keeps his promise. And this is what happened. From Genesis chapter 21. The Lord came to Sarah as he had said, and the Lord did for Sarah what he had promised. Sarah became pregnant and bore a son to Abraham in his old age. At the appointed time, God had told him, Abraham named his son who was born to him, the one Sarah born to him was called Isaac. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to label one of the stars on your piece of paper, Isaac. So pick any star that you want on your piece of paper. And I want you to write the letters I-S-A-A-C for Isaac. Just like I did. Because that was Abraham's and Sarah's descendant, Isaac. Now, let's see what other kids Abraham and Sarah had. Um, hmm, we're not, not anymore there. M maybe a couple chapters later. Hmm, no. Wh what a, what's going on? Wait a minute. God had promised Abraham so many descendants as, as numerous as the stars in the sky. But the Bible says that Isaac was the only child that Abraham and Sarah had. Is God really faithful? I mean, he promised him so many descendants, but only gave him one son? Well, let's see. If you remember in to the back to the Bible, Isaac had two sons, Jacob and Esau. So go ahead, take your piece of paper, and I want you to label one son or one star, Jacob, J-A-C-O-B, and I want you to label the other star, Esau. Now that's a little bit harder. It's E S A. You. Now, Jacob had 12 sons. Now, I, I won't go into all of the 12 sons' names because that could take up a little bit of time. So what I want you to do is just label 12 stars, 1 through 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And if for some reason you didn't write or draw that many stars, go ahead and add a couple more stars so that that you have more stars in your sky. Just like I had to do. And if you remember one of the twelve sons of Jacob was Joseph, right? Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat. That was one of Jacob's sons. So you see, in just a couple of generations, God was keeping his promise. God was filling up Abraham's family tree with stars. In fact, one of Abraham's descendants is Jesus. So I want you to go ahead and I want you to label one of the stars, Jesus. J-E-S-U-S. -S. Wow. God is faithful. He did give Abraham a lot of descendants. But there is something else that you should know about how God keeps his promises to Abraham. 
I'm going to read you a verse from the New Testament this time. It's from Romans chapter 4, verse 16. This is why the promise is by faith, so that it may be according to grace, to guarantee it to all descendants, not only to those who are of the law, but also to those who are of Abraham's faith. He is the father of us all. Abraham is the father of all who believe in Jesus. Isn't that so cool? This means that even if you're not related by blood to Abraham, you are one of his descendants through faith. In Jesus, you are a sign that God is faithful. So I want you to go ahead as I want you to label one more star. And that name, you're going to put your name down there. I'm going to put Joe. And I want you to put your name next to a star. God is faithful. Now I want to close our Bible story time by teaching you a song that I learned way back when I was in Sunday school. Your age, I, I was taught this song. It is a song that is all about Abraham and his descendants. And it's called Father Abraham. You parents or grandparents, you might know this song, so I hope that you sing along as well. It's a song that has some goofy actions. So I think the best way to teach you this song is just by, by doing it. So I want you to follow along. So in order for that, you need to stand up. Okay, and I'm going to put my music stand way back over there again. Stand up and follow me in this song. It's called Father Abraham. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Father Abraham had many sons. Many sons had Father Abraham. I am one of them, and so are you. So let's all praise the Lord. Right arm, left arm, right foot, left foot. Turn around, sit down. I can tell you, that song was a lot easier to, to sing and to do when I was your age. That was the first time that I've probably sang that song in many years. I can't believe I still remember those words. Isn't it amazing how much you remember? But I hope that song helps you remember our Bible story for today. Let's close our time with prayer. Dear God, thank you that you are faithful. Thank you that every morning we can see your mercy 
and that there is no show of turning away from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I hope that you all have a wonderful week, and I look forward to seeing you back here next week for another Bible story about who God is.